Let me do this, or can I interrupt it? Uh, no, I'm gonna let you do it this time. <laughs> All right, we, we had a little discussion of what we're gonna call this I'm video. I'm sorry, start every time. I, it's because I licked my teeth just to make sure there was no. No bullshit, you're just. I swear to purpose. God, I'll show you the playback. Yeah, yeah. My year in gaming analyzed. Instead of our typical the games I beat this year video, yeah. we went a little further. Yes. We're gonna go. Still, all the games we beat, but then we analyzed it to see what are our gaming habits. Modern, retro, kind of genres, uh, single player, multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Where did we spend the most amount of time on, like as far as console or genre and all that. And Jen has the computer here because yes. she's done all kinds of nice little graphics. I so. had too much fun with this. <laughs> I spent a good afternoon, if not more, made 20 slides for us each. So we're really gonna break everything down. You then did a little spreadsheet. I did do a spreadsheet. All my games. Scott doesn't know any of the uh, analytics of this. No. I think it'll be a, a much cleaner, funner, more interactive way to look at all the games we played in one year. And then I think it would be awesome if next year you guys decide to do the same thing. Mm. Then we can see your breakdown. Because if you think you're a certain gamer, but then you realize, oh shit, I play more of this than I actually realize, it, it's a good kind of yeah. overview of what, what you really, really enjoy. Originally, this just started off with, we wrote down the games mm -hmm. that we beat. But then we also recorded the amount of time that we spent on each game. Because yes. I thought it would be fun to see how many hours you spend in the run of the year gaming. Yes. This is only completed games. This is not yeah. games that we would have played, like Rock Band. We played, played a, bunch of rock a band. bunch of Rock Band. I played a bunch of baseball. There. I didn't yeah, we played the Quarry season. twice. Yeah. So there was just things like we weren't going to double dip if we played the same game in one year. Now, should we add off the top how many hours of gaming you <clears throat> played, or should we save that? However you got it laid out on this, because you have a graph for that too, do you know? I have a graph for everything. <laughs> All right. So first off, we're going to talk about Action Adventure, of which Scott played two games, Splinter Cell Conviction, Bayonetta 2. Boom! Boom! Boom. Multiplayer. Yeah. Me and Alex played it. Had a blast. Oh yeah. Actually, really fun game. Single player. She cut her hair, he wasn't happy. <laughs> I've had better. <laughs> I like the first one way better. Yes, yeah, so weren't as thrilled as you wanted to be. No. Now, you would recommend Splinter Cell Conviction. You guys had fun. For uh, co -op, couch co op? Absolutely. Oh, awesome. Okay. I mean, that last mission was ridiculous. <laughs> it was fun. Beat em ups. Uh, self-professed genre you enjoy. Well, that's pretty much how I would say Gaming started most of my childhood was spent playing beat-em-ups or sports games. Uh -huh. or, or. So we have in this category Streets of Red, Mother Russia Bleeds, Golden Axe 2, Final Fight 2, we're playing all the twos, TMNT, Shredder's Revenge, God Hand, and Sifu. And I know there's going to be some standout ones <laughs> in this category. I don't know how you're gonna stand them all up. I don't know, I'm not standing them all up, no way. No. And then God of God of Hand and Sea of Pooh. God Hand and Sea of Pooh. It'd be one of my favorite, all yes. time favorite cover arts. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've played this plenty of times. I just happened to play through it again this year. You know what I wanna ask? Because everyone and their dog and their baby and Jesus played this game this year. Yeah. What did you think? Because a lot of people loved it and they were like, that's the best game this year. I don't know if I'd go that far, but it's pretty it's damn game. good. I think it's a pretty damn good Turtles game. Really oh, yeah. Turtles game, but best game of the year. We had a lot of fun. It's sad that it's not longer, but I know there's... But it's a Turtles game. That's true. There's tons of content there because yeah. you get to unlock the new characters. Yeah, and April yeah. and uh, Casey Jones. Like five players, is it? Or six? six, I do believe. It was a fun game. This one was... This one's tough. Tough, yes. Not nearly as fun as this one. It's a little it's, bit gory. It's very, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The pixel kind of graphics. Streets of Red. Streets, streets of Red. Streets of Red. I'm. Yeah. Really? Care. Yeah. See, I still feel like we got to play all the way through it because did we actually get. We didn't get the good ending. Yeah, That's we didn't problem. get the good ending yet. And and we I played it twice. We, we played, played it twice, twice. and we didn't only... get the good ending but either time. Yeah, we only. So. I feel like we only figured out what we had to do towards the end of that. 
yeah. second playthrough, yep. and it was too late. Don't you need to have like X amount of money? Six hundred and sixty-six dollars, something like in that, in your account or yeah. something there at the end, something weird like that, in order to get the other ending. It was like another. I would actually fun. play it again to get the other ending. We had enough fun with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess. Seafood was a big game for you this year. You I really, really liked loved it. it. Yep. If I hate myself enough, I may end up playing it. We don't know yet. I would love to see that. Oh, for fuck's sakes. God Hand was tough. God Hand is tough. Yeah. Tough beat him up there for sure. It hilarious. was hilarious. hilarious. I think in the beat em up category, there's not really anything that you're like, mm. I mean, I know you said Streets of Red, but still fun. Like I said, it's my genre, so I, I can automatically look at some gameplay. You know? yeah. yeah, I want to play that. Uh, hack and Slash. So we have God of War, Ghost of Sparta, and Lollipop Chainsaw. And if anybody challenges how I categorize this, I look it up. It's not care. my fault. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Probably enjoyed this more than that. But the eye candy is better on that. Well, I mean, it depends on who you ask. Yeah. Okay. I see a Halloween theme next year. I do too. <laughs> I think, hey, Halloween. Do I have to fucking start working out and stir you? myself to death? I have to start taking steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Horror games, I'm so fucking disappointed in you as a person. Two, two, two games. They're both co-op. Obscure yeah. in the quarry. You know what? To be quite honest there, I'm not going to reach for a, horror, a survival horror game. That's not my go-to genre. There Plus, you. I'm playing them all, so... Well, there you go, yeah. Completely different, obviously. Yes, yes. It's much older. A lot of people might not consider it retro, but... Modern. Way funner with Story -driven. bigger crowd. Yeah, Story-driven. Uh, basically, your interactive movie. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you know what? If I had to pick one I liked more than the other, I'm going obscure. I, the controls are not as great. They could get an update. It, it left more of an impression. Sports and fighting. Sports and fighting. Super Mega Baseball 3. That's not 3. I got placeholders. I don't have physical copy. Yeah. Or whatever. And Saturday Night Slam Masters. It's I, a fighting game. I basically traded out I don't remember what the hell the game was now. Do you remember what it was? It was a Genesis game. I... And I had, it was a beat em up style. Yes, I know which one you're talking about. I can see the cover. Same. It's almost an equal trade. So, I was like, ah, I want to put something in. I played through this. And it's actually a pretty damn fun yeah. wrestling game. So, if you like wrestling games, I would try that one. Yeah. And More I of an mean, arcade style wrestling game. You're just playing the shit out of Super uh, Mega Baseball. See, I will only play Super Mega Baseball with somebody. Okay. I swear to God, if I go upstairs for like five minutes, they're putting it on. They're like, you sure you don't have something to do for like an hour and go a half? Go do something. Go crochet or knit or something there. Yes, because right. that's my hobby. Fuck <laughs> crochet and knitting. All right, platformers. This is a bigger list, so get ready. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. TMNT. I only beat this mf -er. <sighs> I don't even know if that video will come out before this video. No. Although we beat it in the summer, we just... Oh, it's been like six months. Yeah. New Super Mario Bros. on the Wii again, but we love it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Play for people. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Mercenary Kings. Fucking amazing. Awesome. Hidden gem kind of game. And so much play value. Oh. 38 hours. Yep. Uh, trine four, all the trines, all the trines, all the trines, and Bro Force because it's Bro Force. I wish I had a physical copy. They're coming out with a Bro Force too. We're gonna maybe get we can get a Bro for Bro, a bro collection. Force. <laughs> maybe that we'll put would be cool. one and two on the same. Give me a physical copy. Do you somewhere. have Do you have a favorite Fantastic. in this? Fantastic. A favorite in this pile? Yeah, just for shits and giggles. Bro Force is always a favorite, but. That, yeah. yeah for yeah. the year. Uh, over the long term, I probably will, will play this or this way more. Yeah. And uh, it'll be a while before I want to play that again. <laughs> uh, it was a huge bucket list moment there to beat this game. Mm -hmm. 
And, but Dennis had asked me, he's like, oh, have you played, have you beat, beat it again since then? I'm like, fuck no, no, I had my <laughs> fill on that there. I, I don't know when I'll go back See, and beat it again. See, that's the thing too, when we counted up the amount of hours you put into a game, we put that final play. So we didn't... Oh yeah, I, like it probably to... took me 20 hours plus to finally beat that game, but it, it's only what? It's uh, not two even, and a half hours? Is it a two and a half hour think. game? Something like that? Yeah, and the trines we were, were like hit or miss. I didn't mind them, but there was ones that I was like, oh, oh. The DLC for number two is the best part of all of it. I don't know. I really like trying four. Four was fun. Mm -hmm. One really took a step back. Two was not bad. Oh, it's definitely not as good as four. The DLC was the best of all of them. And three was a piece of shit. How <laughs> much did we laugh our asses off, though, at... Oh, my God. The glitches... Dennis oh would get like my God. almost mad at me. He's like, if you make another fucking bouncy ball, I swear to God. I'm taking he, them out. <laughs> he's like, I'm, I'm going into the menu and I'm taking it out. You won't even be able to make them anymore. I'm like, oh, we're making dad mad. Yeah. Like we would spend time just fucking with Dennis. That was the best part of the Don't game. say we. Don't say we. Oh, I'm sorry. I, we. I intentionally killed him a couple times. Yes, we did. See? There. We. It was fun. All right, clean up your mess. Okay. After this, we have RPGs, Ooh. Scott's favorite category, uh. but we only played four games. What a lot of time is <laughs> I know, that's right. So uh. we have Final Fantasy VII on the Switch, we have Chrono Trigger, we have The Ascent, which we do not have a physical copy of because you played it on Game Pass with, Game Alex. Pass with Alex, and we have Grandia. Do you want to pick that? Which one? <laughs> did you fuck off? Which one did you like least? There you go. It's the Switch. It's the Switch copy that absolutely root the experience for me. Well, because she was playing the original copy yes, on the original the hardware on the, the other side. And I was playing it on the big screen like that. And the graphics have to look like dog shit. It's not just that. You can cheat the game. You can, you can cheat, cheat the and game. I, and I cheated myself out of a good experience. I you absolutely did. did. You did. I absolutely did. And I, I regret it 100%. And, and you can't go back and play it a second time and not feel the same way. But the Ascent, did you guys have fun on this? That one? I know yeah, you guys I, I, I had fun so because busy. I played with Alex, but I would never play it by myself. And if Alex wanted me to play it again, I'd be like, uh, Do you think I would enjoy it? I think maybe a group of us, like three or four of us all yeah. playing together could be fun. But it just, there's, think... there's like no story. Alex was trying to follow the story. I didn't give two flying Fs about the story and I, I couldn't tell you what it was about. Do you think too, part of it, cause we, I should have said this, when we did these genres up or I did them up, I put RPG together. I didn't, I wasn't going to break down action RPG and tactical and turn-based. And turn -based. And I wasn't going to do that. So I just lumped them together. And The Ascent is an action RPG. So I don't know, maybe you're just more into RPG right now. <clears throat> just I'm your just, turn base. Yeah, you gotta have a story. Yeah. I gotta have a story. And I do believe this is the very last category and we have shooters. So first person, third person shooters. Uh, Gears of War 4 and 5. Boom. Just to be clear, he played through all the Gears of War. That was Boom. just the ones that you guys played through this, this year. year. Army of Two and Army of Two 40th Day. They did have the other Army of Two, and it was such dog shit that they, you traded it immediately. We, uh, Alex absolutely 100% vetoed it, and I didn't have <laughs> any heart to argue him on it. He's like, don't want to play this game. This is terrible. Yeah. yeah. And You're Bullet right. Witch. Yep. And Bullet Witch. Bullet Witch. I feel like there's a standout here for you. Yes. And you guys really did enjoy 100%. Army this is of Two, awesome. though. This would be. They're pretty damn close together yeah. for that. Like, I think you told me Bullet Witch could have been a better game. Uh, like, very it could have deserving been a great game. of a remake. remake. Uh, it has way more potential for, for it to be a good game than, like, I don't piss people off, but I played Lollipop Chainsaw also, which is supposed, I think it is getting a remake, yeah. and I don't understand why. But this one here needs a remake. Yeah. Because graphically, I it's know. not good at all. I know. Story. Didn't you get stuck a couple times too? You're like, my fucking character stuck. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So anyways, that's all the categories. This is the fun part. So those are all the games he played. He played 33 games uh, for a total of 406 and a half hours. 
So let's just complete it games and sure. not... Not other games. Not other games and not anything we, we played got, twice. We got, we got like... What do you call it? They're overcooked? We got, oh, fuck's yeah, sake. I, I probably have close to another 100 hours just in games that I have... Yeah. ...that able to, you know, finish off. So platformers, puzzle, action, side scroll, 27.3%. Beat'em up came in at second at 21.2%. Shooters at 15.2%. So this is just per the amount of games. games yeah. Right? Per genre. Uh, RPG at 12.1%, which I was assuming would be higher, but the amount of hours you put in because to an RPG... Because there's only four compared to, like, all the fucking trines. There are, like, four of those things. Yes. <laughs> you know. Action, adventure, hack and slash, horror, and sports, and fighting <clears throat> all come in at 6.1% of your 100% of what you play. You know what's the weird thing about this whole graph? What? Is that... I would say I had the least amount of fun with my largest one, which is platforms, because the trines, yeah. the trines really didn't hit home there. We had a lot of fun, but if you were to ask me, do you want to play again? We're done. We're done with that. I also broke it down by hours played in the genre. So even though he may have played platformers, more of them is that where all games the are shorter, hours right? went in. Well, your platformers were 101 hours. That was my biggest part of the pie, though, when it came to as more games. Games, but it yeah. wasn't the amount of hours that were the most. That goes to RPG at 168 oh, hours. RPG! Woohoo! Shooters came in at 51, which is not surprising. That's all Alex's That's fault all right Alex. there. Beat him up at 29 hours. That's all me. <laughs> and then uh, everything else is like right around like horror, yeah, right adventure, hack and slash, sports, there, yeah. blah, blah, blah all in that like 12 and a half to 16 hour range. Yep. Yeah. All those platformers? Yeah. I think they're all multiplayer. I think most of them are. Yeah. Hmm. Console game breakdown. So you, you were surprised by this, but not surprised. Shocked. Shocked because he would tell you of all the systems we have, Switch is one of his least favorite. Well, six of your games came from the Switch. But now, all the all six games were they not co-op? Well, all the trines were, and that was four of them. And Streets of Red. Um, oh, Final Fantasy. That was yes. a single player one. Yeah. Uh, Xbox 360 at five. PS4 Thanks. at four. And then. Yeah, me and Alex played all the 360. I don't think I played 360 but with you played, anybody else. You played against uh, 15 different consoles. 15 consoles. I'm 15 just consoles. Yeah. You know what was surprising to me? No PS3 games. I was a little bit shocked too. Yeah. We had talked about this. This is one of those yeah. little things that we talked about. And I told, I said, huh, you know what it is? Not this year, but the year before. So that would have affected this year's gameplay. Yes. It was, PS3 was hot. And that's all that was on YouTube. And well, it got me to the point where I'm sick of seeing Because it PS3. was supposed to be shutting down. The, the yep. online yep. was supposed to. I was just sick of it. I didn't want to play PS3. Yeah. Like I see, I watch a lot of YouTube and I was just sick of seeing PS3. Yeah. So. I also did a comparison. This shows us total hours. The consoles that you played the most on weren't necessarily the most amount of hours you put into that console. It was the Switch at number one, <clears throat> but number two was PS1, or PS1. Yeah, PS1. The, right? Those are, that's my RPGs. That's so your that's RPGs. Incredible. So, it, yeah, it kind of, it was all scattered all over the place. And it's just, it's interesting to look at how it doesn't necessarily line up. This next slide, I'm pretty sure Scott wanted me to throw in because he wants to feel better about himself. Or want to make me look bad, which we will, cover in the next I video. Can't, I have no control over what you played. This will break down co-op versus single, retro versus modern, and also single player retro versus single player modern. 66.7% of his games were co-op games. I'm not surprised because of the, the year I have had here. The last six months or so, I've started a new different job there. Yeah. It's been a lot harder for me to get my single player game time because most of the time my weekends are like multiplayer everybody people come yes. over and we play multiplayer games together uh, my single player time used to be through the week yeah so, so i if memory serves me correctly and i i'm pretty sure it does that's a breakdown of 22 co-op games versus 11 single player hmm. okay retro versus modern 21.2 percent retro versus 78.8% modern. This is when Scott was like, 
Well, I want you to break those down. Most of my games, two thirds of my games were co-op games, which I don't have a lot of say in, okay? When it yeah. comes to co-op games. So I'm like, well, what did I play by myself when it comes to modern and retro? Okay. So, I, so here's here's how it breaks down. So 45.5%. Yeah, so you almost made it halfway. Almost. Almost. Yes. He, he would like you to know that if it was his choice, he would play more retro games. I'd play, yeah, I, I, I would play that 50-50, whatever. But I think the hours would probably lean way more into the retro because of the RPGs. Yeah. I did a couple more slides up because I thought it was interesting. <laughs> I never see these ones at you all. You didn't see these ones at all. Yeah. So if we're doing 365 days in a year yeah. of what your life is composed of, how many, you mean the hours per day? Yes, yeah, all yeah, yeah, all that there, blah, right? blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 4.6% of your life is spent gaming. 21% is spent working and 25% is spent sleeping. I doubt very much I get 25% sleeping there. Well, I, I broke sleep. it down for like five hours a day or six hours a day or something stupid like that. I might get six hours. Okay. Might. So you wasted 49.4% <laughs> of your time not gaming. Right. What the hell were you doing? My wife. <laughs> Not for 49.4% of the time. I think my arm's so strong. <laughs> Most hours spent on a single player game was Grandia at 76 hours or 18.7% of your gaming was time? Grandia. Yeah. One game is like almost 20% of my total time for the year. Gaming highlights and lowlights. Top three single player games, Sifu, Chrono Trigger, Grandia. In no particular, particular order. Because don't ask him to pick. If I had to pick, Sifu would be third. Okay. And that's all. And I'm that's going. all he's going with. Worst three single player games, none. Because yeah. Scott doesn't necessarily subscribe to playing through a game if he fucking hates it. I'll, if I hate it, I haven't played through it. Like, what game did you try to play that you were like, I don't like the jump mechanic? Super Mario World. Yeah. It's and not that long ago. I'm not, I, I'm not a huge Mario fan, but yeah. I was like, Alex loves it. You told me it's a great game. There. Yeah. I, I, the, my Super Mario games are... Uh, New Super Mario Bros. on the Wii. Uh, Super Mario 3 is my jam. Yeah. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. on the Wii, which is very similar mechanics. Yeah. So. And you can kill your friends. That's awesome. Yeah. Top three best co-op games, Gears of War 5, Mercenary Kings, Obscure. Probably in that order. Yeah. 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 Gears 5 was friggin' awesome. Me and Alex loved it. Loved it yeah. so much that once, the, every, like, maybe once or every couple weeks, he'd be like, oh, when are Gears 6 coming out? Oh, we're we gonna take the day off? Are we gonna take the day off from you know, work and school? We're gonna play that game? It's gonna be a game pass. Yeah. I'm like, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> And worst co-op game, Try 3. Try 3 sucked ass and not we even in video. a good way. We have video proof of that. Oh how my bad it was. God. Yeah. They completely changed the, the the whole mechanics of the game. They're like, we're going to go in a 3D world. It would, it would have been great if they could have made it work. But your depth perception oh in the game God. is like, I don't know if it's just I'm old or what but all no, three of us just couldn't because i'm not old it was a <laughs> 33 games 406.5 hours not too many regrets what do you see for yourself for 2023 2023 Ooh. you know didn't warn me you're gonna give me that question I there but i honestly okay like there's definitely some more ps1 rpgs on my list that mm -hmm. i really want to play uh I like to do the uh, community picks, so that yes. what I do is I grab I, three games, let the community tell me which one's the best game there, and then I play through that. I uh, wouldn't mind playing through some more Super Nintendo RPGs. Uh, I, I would like to get back into my original Xbox. I barely touched yeah, it this year. Yeah, we were really hot on that in 2021. Yeah. I was really hot on the collecting. The playing, yes. I played I, I played a bunch, of not, not too many, yeah. but... Uh, I haven't, you know, I've got a whole shelf full of games mm -hmm. there that I haven't even tried. I want to try some more. Yeah. Oh, was that fun though, at least? I think it was a fun way I, to do it that It was eye-opening there that I seen that I'm like, there's no way in hell I would have said that I played the most games and the on most the amount Switch. of time on the Switch. I'd be like, yeah, you're crazy. Yeah. You're going to see us in the next video. We're going to have the same clothing on because we're going to film it right now. 
No pants. No pants. Hands on the table. Jan's gonna put her pants back on. She was wearing pants this whole time. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know what you think. Let us know if this is something you're interested in doing for 2023. Yeah. We would love for you guys to do it because I would love to see what your gaming yeah. habits are. Like, I know there are a lot of people that do the videos, the games I beat in you know this year but like do you do you like that idea of keep track of how many hours you put into every game and then like, at the end of the year you get a you're either going to be eye-opening now you can keep track of like is it modern is it retro the consoles like yeah really it's... look at everything at the Were end of the year you played i was surprised 15 different consoles i i was because there's a lot of it like i said most of my gaming this year was co-op games yeah. so it was kind of like you had to agree with other people what you're going to play that's true all right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, game on.